Hi, my name is Ron Meyer. I'm Professor of Strategic Leadership here at TS School for Business and Society, and welcome to Meyer's Management Models, Insightful Tools to Kickstart Your Thinking. And in this installment, I'd like to tell you about the strategy development cycle. Now, you might already think that you have an answer to the question, which steps do we need to go through to develop an effective strategy? I think many of you have actually already drawn up a strategic document. A nice PowerPoint slide says, saying this is the strategy which we want to undertake. But what I'd like to argue to you is that a document on which you write down a strategy is not really a strategy itself. It's a strategic plan. It's what you intend to do, but a strategy is what you actually really do. So it's not the plan of action, it's the pattern of action. So your task as a strategic leader is to take people on a journey to actually exhibit a pattern of action. So let's go to the model. So the whole idea of a strategic development cycle is how do I get people to set a course of action and actually carry it out? So everything starts and ends with the actions which we undertake. We're running the business and if we want to have a new strategy, we're going to do things in a different way. So I need to actually take people from out of their action mode and get them to think about different types of actions. Now, usually they're really, really busy and they're saying, oh, so I have clients, so I have customers, so I have products, so I need to meet deadlines, I have my KPIs, uh, come back another time. And you as a strategic leader actually want people to start thinking about what's coming up, what's dooming up out of the mist a little bit further away. So you want them to become aware of some opportunities and some threats, which are not at their doorstep yet, but which are coming so that they can start to correct their course right now. Now we call this first phase of the cycle, we call that identification. We need to start flagging some potential opportunities and threats and saying these are issues that we might want to anticipate and we already want to start thinking about what we could do. Now once people become aware, they're gonna say, ah, yeah, yeah, I got it, but we don't have time. Or, but that's not applicable to us, but so the next phase is to get from awareness to actually getting people to put it on their priority list. We call that their strategic agenda. Now they're only gonna put it onto their agenda. It's only gonna become a priority if they think it's important and it's urgent. That means they have to see the importance. They have to feel the urgency. And we call that phase interpretation because there's no way of proving that something is going to be true it's a matter of estimating, as, it, as it, your sense making, you're trying to get a grip on an unfolding reality. So you need to guide people through this whole process and to get them to say, yes, this is something that we should put on our short list. We need to do something about this because it's threatening, because it's an opportunity. And then we get to a phase, which I think many of you will, re will recognize, because once we have something on the agenda, we have to come up with a solution. We have to come up with a path forward, but not only something on paper, but something that people will accept, something that people will say, yes, we're gonna get behind this. So we need to go from the agenda to actually acceptance. This is a decision which we can all embrace. And that is actually the phase of formulation. Formulation is not only putting it on paper, it's actually putting it into the hearts and minds of the people. Now, once we accept a way forward, then we can move from acceptance to actually changing our actions. And that's implementation. Implementation isn't selling it. That's actually already formulation. It's actually getting people moving, making sure that we make changes and our actual actions start changing. That's the cycle. And as you see, it's more of a voyage than an event. So what are the takeaways, key insights? First of all, strategy development is about deeds. It's not about documents. So we really need to do things, not only put them down on paper. And strategy development in that sense is a journey. Not, it's not an event. We can't say, well, I have a workshop. Set, and we made the strategy. So now strategy is an ongoing voyage. We're constantly correcting the course of action and we need to take people along on that journey. It means it is about the people it's not about the data. It's not the data that goes on the journey, it's the people. They use data, so, but the data in itself is only a means. It also means that strategy development is subjective. 
It's something that people so will believe in. It's something which they're going to like, so or they're not going to like. So, and it's going to be it's going to use data, so, but we can't make a strategy objectively true, or we can't say this is the best. We can interpret and we can think it's the best course forward. And last but not least, strategy development needs a guide and not a god. You don't have to be the person who comes up with all of the ideas. You don't have to be the one who says, this is the decision that we're going to make. You need to take people on that journey. They have to become engaged in the journey. They have to believe in the journey. So you're much more of a Sherpa, a guide, and not the one who, as a prophet, has all of the answers. Well, hopefully a useful way to think about strategizing. Uh, that was it for this month. Hope to see you again next time.